This is the Logic Only Zone, and today you guys I want to talk a little bit about perspectives and opinions. And I think this video is going to be something that's useful for everybody, and I think this is very important because this is an idea and a concept that if people had, it would totally change their lives. Um, and I just ask you guys to bear with me a little bit because I have a cold right now. Uh, but this, this is a cup. Now, I know you're thinking, like, of course, I've seen cups before. What's the big deal? Why are you showing me a cup logic? Well, the moment I show you this cup, you're going to develop a perception regarding this cup. So you're going to have opinions about this cup. You're going to look at it. You're going to say, well, I know that's a cup because I've seen cups before. This is what cups look like. This particular cup is white. Uh, this cup has a, a bigger handle. It looks heavy. And so you're going to see this. And what are you going to do? The first thing you do, you're going to see this. You're going to develop that opinion, that perception of it. And you're going to be done with it. You're going to have that. Now, we do this with most people we meet. We do this with uh, different objects and stuff like that. There's all kinds of reasons for this. We'll get into that. Um, but there's more to this cup. There's something written on the other side. It says, there is only me stopping me from being successful. So that's written on the other side. But you wouldn't know that. So what we learn is there can be some hidden things. There's, there can be some hidden things beyond the object that we don't necessarily use for our opinions. We don't necessarily use for our perspective. And we take that for granted. And it's, instead... We should have, we should have not, we should have withheld that perspective possibly. Now, to a certain degree, we can't help doing this. We can't help just seeing something and then making an opinion about it or, or uh, perceiving it in a particular way. And, I mean, that can be an issue. Now, here's another thing. So, what if I were to show you another cup? So here's another cup. Oh, right, you're going to think, oh, I've seen, a cu I've, I know what that is. That's a cup. I've seen cups before. Um, you're going to develop an opinion about this. There's all kinds of opinions we could have about this one. You could say, oh, the handle is it's a little bit bigger. Um, it's, it's a little bit uh, taller than the other cup, possibly, or lighter or heavier, or this or that. And again, there's something that you might not notice about this cup. It's filled with water. I don't know if you can see the water. I'm trying not to spill it. But it's filled with water. You wouldn't know that because you wouldn't see that. You wouldn't see that it's filled with water. So, and, and here's the thing. People sometimes, they develop opinions regarding different objects. So let's say we have two objects. So I have this cup and that cup. Some people might say this cup is better than this cup or that cup is better than this cup. But really, they're just cups, right? They're just cups. It doesn't really matter which one's better. They both have the same purpose. They both do the same thing. You're going to get a drink. You're going to be able to enjoy your drink. It doesn't really matter which cup you use. But maybe one cup is actually better than the other. Maybe. And if it is, you're not going to know unless you try. So if you just create uh, your opinion and your, your pr uh, perspective, and you just say that this one's the good one, and you don't try this one, then you miss out on this one that might be better, or this one that might be better. And to some people, maybe they have their hands are in a particular shape or something, and this type will work the best. Maybe somebody prefers a, per, a specific uh, form of expression or a way of thinking or looking at things that's beneficial for them, that benefits them, so they'll choose this cup because it benefits them. Okay, this is the same with ideas. This is the same with... A lot of things in life. So, if so, would would person A be wrong if let's say this let's for the purpose of conversation let's say this cup is the best cup. Now, would we look down on the person that chose this cup? Would we say the person who chose this cup is is the one with the problem uh, that they are they're bad cup choosers? Would we say that? No, because this cup may actually be better for them, even though this one may have things that we could perceive as possibly being better. There, it might have particular aspects that could be better or something. Who knows? Maybe the glass on this one is, is bad for you and is it can give you cancer or something like this. You never know. You never know. There's all these perspectives that we develop and opinions we develop, and a lot of it is just unfounded drivel, really. Um, and it really comes down to stuff like uh, biology. 
I mean, you're going through the forest. You're you're gonna want to be able to look and see a tiger and be like, holy shit, that's a tiger, bro, and get away from the tiger, right? You don't want to be eaten by the tiger. Quick judgments. You make a quick judgment. You develop your perception. You quickly develop an opinion about the thing, and then you go with it. Now, the problem is when we're developing opinions, we hold them too strongly, and we project them on other people. We force other people to agree with them, or because we think it's right. So we value our perceptions and our opinions. But what we just discussed is that neither cup is good. Neither cup is, I mean, either or, either or is going to hold the water. Maybe one will function a little bit better for this person or that person, but they all, they all hold the water. It's just like different opinions and thoughts that people have in terms of the way people live. We're all living. We all, we all live, just like how the cup's just going to hold water. Everybody lives. And everybody, they just have a different way of looking at it, a different perception. But we don't, we don't just judge them. That We're all cup holders. We're all cup, different cup, you know what I mean? We're all cup holders. So it doesn't really matter who's got the better cup or who is this or that. These are all things that we take um, and we just get carried away with. It's just a general tendency that we have for whatever reason, whether it's the whole tiger in the jungle reason or something else. But what we should do is we should hold off because we don't know what we could be missing on. Uh, we should we could we could be totally missing the enjoyment of life by not trying this cup that ends up being way better than that cup because we developed too strong of an opinion. So it's good to try different things, not just judge a book by its cover, as they say. And yeah, and I think this uh, I think that's pretty much it. I just want to talk about this stuff. Hope that was useful. And uh, I will see you guys later. Bye.